has shown that a person's character is really fully established to at least five years old. But I am five. I'm more than five. Oh, well that's how it goes.
Lunchtime is among the worst times of the day for me. Always having to sit here alone. Well, mornings aren't so pleasant either. Waking up and wondering if anyone would really miss me if I never got out of bed in the morning. Then there's nighttimes too. Lying there and thinking about all the stupid things I've done during the day and all those hours in between when I did all those stupid things. Well, Lunchtime is among the worst times of the day for me. I better see what I have. Peanut butter. You know, something like Irish are. The people who eat peanut butter sandwiches are lonely. I'm not only that, I'm not a peanut butter shop, so look at your mouth. <laughs> I guess you're right. Boy, the PTA sure did a good job of painting these benches. <laughs> There's a cute little red-headed girl. I wonder what she'd say if I asked her to sit next to me. She'd probably just laugh in my face. It's hard on the face when it's slapped in. There's an empty spot right next to her. There's no reason why I couldn't just walk up to her and, and sit down. All I'd have to do is stand up. I can do that right now. All I'd have to do is stand up. I'm standing up. I'm sitting down. I'm a coward. I'm so much of a coward. Try to get looks at me. I, I can't remember the last time that she has looked at me. Has she ever looked at me? Is there any reason why she shouldn't look at me? Is she so big and I'm so small that she can't spare one single moment? She's looking at me. She's looking at me. No, Sally, you're thinking of that other dress, the one I wore to Lucinda's party. The one I'm talking about is the very light blue one, and I had a design embroidered around the waist. I don't remember. Something like this. And the skirt went out like this, and had puffy sleeves, and a sash like this. Oh, yes, I remember. Yes. Well, that was the dress I was wearing last week when I met Rita, and she told me she'd be one just like this. Lunch time is among the worst time of the day. And that little red hair girl sees me with this stupid bag in my head. She must think I'm the biggest fool of mine. And again, if she's not looking at me, I can take it off and no one would know. And again, I can't take it off if I can't see her looking at me. On the other hand, I'll never have to know she's looking at me if I never take it off. On the other hand, she's getting very hard to breathe. <laughs> She's not looking at me. I wonder why she never looks at me. <laughs> One lunch hour over with, only 2,685 to go.
narrative of musician.
Not yet. This is for you, Lucy. 
How are you going here today? No, that doesn't sound right. This is for you, Lucy. How are you going here today? Okay, stay calm. You can do it. Here, Lucy, this is for you. How are you going here today? Alright, don't get nervous. Here, Lucy, this is for you. Merry Christmas! <laughs>
It's my grandfather's birthday. How old is he? Sixty-three. It's hard to believe he was once a human being. <laughs>
dog. You take it from there. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You're missing a perfect day like this. The scent is fresh. The trail is clear. Let's go out there to some battle ground. Right? <laughs> well, I get the feeling she's determined. Okay, if that's what she wants, she might as well get her money to her. Have a boy, Snoopy. I see a lot of game today. <laughs> Thank you. 
If I stop writing now, well, I'm not really resting. Upset my thinking, which is no good at all. I'll get a fresh start tomorrow, and it's not due to Wednesday, so I'll have a Tuesday unless something should happen. Why does this always happen? I should be out like playing, getting the care and sunshine. I was under pressure, and now lots of pressure. If I wait till tomorrow, I should start writing now. But if I start writing now, then I'm not really resting. It could upset my thinking. Thank you.